Alright. There's another one coming up as well. When it was time to prune, I didn't prune these ones. I let them be so that I can see exactly what to expect. This is the third one. be sad thing that I'm growing with sea oranges only to be left with lemons at the end of it all. So I have just resulted to blocking the leak completely. Yeah because it's costing me a lot of money in terms of water. So for this pipe I'll just have to look for another outlet to feed all these plants, about four plants. But thus far, let's see whether it has worked. This is a wrong way of blocking drip pipes. So they keep leaking, the leak is a bit hard. We need to change this. But so far, the laid down drip lines which were put here working well. I want to see the effect of the water when all the lines are running. So it becomes soft. Flowering and planting. It is easier to manage. It is best to keep going around the farm. Like that was a leak. Done. I just started. Luckily, I found it early. There have been a lot of boys together. I'll plant a row just to see how how they will be and how soft it is. Soft it is for a start. And then we can see how manageable. It's been 40 minutes since I opened the trip before this. My oranges are flowering. At this point is when they're supposed to prune. The last time I didn't prune, 
and this was the result. At least there is one coming up. But this time round, I want to prune a few. See, there are many. some strength <laughs> and grow to be a bit bigger for it to flower and fruit well. But that's the evidence of good progress and what's happening in the farm. I'm very happy thus far. So let's continue on the journey and see how it pans out. So I gave a job for the drip lines to be fixed. And apparently The drip line was, was little. <sighs> Didn't fit the purpose. So the holes that we made they were tied with paper bags. Apparently they are leaking a lot. So what I've decided to do is just to tie an extra drip line at the end of those pipes. And so far I've seen that whatever it is that we've tied to the end of the drip line, tying a knot has stopped the water from dripping. So let's see if it will work here. Not many, just four. So, what I've just done is just tied a knot. The simple thing with drip lines, you just put them in and you pull. green end and it's fully tight nothing is supposed to leak so the same for this one and the remaining two then thereafter is just clean up the mess when it's time to fit these drip lines we just come remove them from here push back the green thing pull out the, these drip ends and fit the new drip lines which should be very soon then thereafter is just transplanting of tomatoes which I'm hoping will start tomorrow 